What's good everybody? It's your boy Mix Monday TV, man. I'm back with another new video, man. Of course, I always appreciate everybody that's always showing love to every video that I've been dropping, man. And of course, you know, it's all love and positivity, man. You guys are real ones, man. And of course, you know, we'll get right into the next video, man. And this is another reaction video because of a video that I've been seeing. And lately, it's been having me weak that I just had to do it because... This is like one of the uh, like a funny pranks that I have been seeing and this just blows my mind. Basically, this video that I'm going to show you that I'm going to react to is basically a prank that you know that happened on a train and when I know which train was it because literally I've been in this train so many times and the person that did this prank actually happens to be somebody that I personally know and I've done multiple videos with him and always show love always been mad cool but this video right here had me weak because the simple reason that you know it's it's taking the balls to do something like this but before i even do the video i'm gonna tell you the topic i'm gonna tell you the type of prank that he did so basically if y'all don't know what's been going on lately for the past weeks that there's a there's a virus called the coronavirus that's basically the virus that's coming from china because People are eating animals that have, you know, viruses and like bats, everything else, which is bad because who the fuck eats a bat? Like who the hell eats a fucking bat? Like honestly, who eats a fucking bat? And to top it off, man, germs travel so fast than the speed of light that it ends up happening to come into New York, which I'm even more scared about because, yo, I don't like to be sick at all. I mean, nobody likes to be sick. That's one thing. Nobody likes to be sick. Because... If I'm sick, I feel like I'm dying, which I don't like because I don't like to feel like I'm dying. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't like doing that shit. You know, I don't like to be sick. I hate being sick because one thing's for sure, it makes me feel like I'm dying. But, you know, God bless that I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to get right into the video because this is probably the most funniest videos that I've ever seen. Like, no lie. This is like probably the most funniest videos that I've ever seen in my whole life because I happen to know who this dude is. And Brody, if you're watching this video, bro, I love you, man. You got my, you got my, you got my fucking, um, attention, bro. We're going to get right into it. That's the coronavirus. He opening the shit. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that niggas ran in the back. Nah. Nah. Yo, these niggas is fucked, bro. Nah, this made my 2020, bro. Nah, I gotta watch this shit again. Yo, it's the fact that we'll make. Hold on, I'm gonna watch this shit again. Yo, 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 the fact that this dude did this on purpose is what has me weak because the simple reason is that, yo, I. I never would have thought of this, to be honest. I would have never thought about this. And I know this dude personally. And I give him props for this. I give him props. Because it takes balls to do something. Matter of fact, I'm going to watch this shit again. Nah, man. I ain't Kool-Aid. You don't take the diabetes in here. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Nah, these niggas was bugged. These niggas was bugging out. Nah, let me see this one more time. I gotta see this shit. 
Because this nigga did this on purpose. That's what makes it. Li that's what makes it funny. Is that he did this on purpose. This is what I love. This is this is this is what I like about living in NYC. Seeing this dumb shit, bro. And I would have never thought of this shit. I've done most of this. this thing. Yeah. Yo. Yo, bro. Nah, son, nah, that's just, just dumb, that's just dumb funny. Yo, I have never been so weak in a day of my life, bro, like, no lie. And the fact that I never thought of this at all is what makes me even laugh, because I knew this dude for a while, like, honestly, I knew this dude for a minute, he always showed love to me, and it's only right, man, that, that yo, I give him best props, and when I like the fact that you know, he had, to, he had, he told me that, um, that he ended up being an article. So I was like, wait, which article are you talking about, bro? And he told me New York Times, New York Post. And that's like a big article line. Because he was telling everybody and I was generally happy for him. Like, like, you see, look, like, hold up. I'm going to pop it up right now. Because let me show you, let me show you. And what makes me laugh is that he had told me he was in an article, which was even more crazy. So... I was like, yo, this guy is wild, and then it showed me, it was called New York Post. It says, teen pranksters pretend to spill coronavirus on NYC subway, which that was the same, which that was the video I just reacted to, I just, I just showed y'all the same thing. And it says here, it's a sick prank that sends some commuters off the rails. It's not that serious. Two teens dressed in, in a full body hazmat suit, pretending to spill a vat of covered 19 which is the official name for um for coronavirus on a packed big apple subway leaving strap hangers screaming as they fled in terror but they're not fled in fucking terror bro it says the pair identifies blah 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 blah, blah. it nearly sat calmly in the protective get-ups while holding a clear container with red liquid which that was not coronavirus because because coronavirus is airborne and that's not how it would be and literally, it's like a whole bunch of these articles. It's like a whole bunch of shit that, you know, that's BS because this is what I hate about articles sometimes is that for the simple reason is that these motherfuckers love to bash on people for making a prank. Like, bro, to be very honest, I do pranks myself and I tell people it's a prank after we done because nine times out of ten, of course, you know, I'm going to always, you know, keep the positivity going and the fact that and the fact that you know we as fact that there's so much shit going on like i understand you know people have died from this virus but to be very honest it's this prank right here is probably one of the best pranks i've ever seen in my life because of the simple reason is that you know i would have never imagined even doing and to top it off the fact that i know this guy personally is what makes me even laugh because we've done bangers before like I remember a time when me and this dude that I just showed y'all, we went viral for putting a couch on a train. And literally, that was the first time we ever went viral together because people were really seeing what we did in the, in the train. And the fact that if you live in New York, of course you see a lot of shit that happens in the train because nine times out of ten, you always see so much shit, bro. Like, it's not even funny. Like, even after dark. Because I lived in New York for so many years that I know a lot about what's going on especially you know in this day and age and living in the subways and the fact that yo this shit right here really made my day is what really makes me laugh and the fact that my boy made an article which is a win-win because you earned it and the fact that you put the time and energy into doing this shit in one shot give you props bro give you big thumbs up because you got balls bro you got balls man and the fact that, you know, pranks like this is what I love to see because you want to get a reaction out of it. And it's like, have niggas scared shitless and all the bullshit. But, you know, I'm generally happy to see this video multiple times because I know niggas be trying to report it down, which it shouldn't be at, at like that, to be honest, man. But if you guys enjoyed this little video I just did for you guys, man, be sure to give it a like. If you guys want to see more reaction videos comment comment you know what i'm saying and of course you know if you want to see more content just subscribe and hit the thumb bell you know what i'm saying 
That's all you gotta do, man. I ain't asking for much. And of course, you know, I appreciate everybody that's always showing love, man. You guys are real ones. And yeah, man, um, you know how that is, man. You know how it is, man. Do appreciate everybody. And of course, you know, love all y'all, man. Peace out, you guys. Love y'all.